Have you ever thought about the tremendous risk our Father in Heaven takes each time He sends a child to Earth? These are His spirit sons and daughters. They have limitless potential, and yet they come to Earth completely helpless. They form their understanding of life, love, God, and His plan based on what they observe from the people around them, especially their parents. God has given parents the sacred duty to rear their children in love and righteousness, to provide for their physical and spiritual needs, and to teach them to observe the commandments of God. My message to all parents is this. The Lord loves you. He is with you. He stands beside you. He is your strength in guiding your children to make righteous choices. Don't delegate this source of heavenly blessings to anyone else. You are the ones to guide your child in the details of daily decisions. Satan will oppose you, distract you, try to discourage you. Sometimes we might wonder if someone else might be better qualified to guide and teach our children. But no matter how inadequate you may feel, you have something that uniquely qualifies you. Your love for your child. Another strength you have as a parent is the opportunity for daily ongoing influence. Peers, teachers and media influencers come and go. But you can be the most constant, steady influence in your child's life. One home evening, one gospel conversation, or one good example may not change your child's life in a moment any more than one drop of rain causes a plant immediately to grow. But the consistency of small and simple things, day after day, nourishes your children much better than an occasional flood. What work could be greater than helping God's precious children learn who they really are and build their faith in Jesus Christ, His Gospel, and His Church? Jesus Christ will bless and magnify your consistent efforts. As you open your heart to the Savior and His teachings, He will show you your weakness. If you trust Jesus Christ with a humble heart, He will make weak things become strong. Building faith in a child is someone like helping a flower grow. You cannot tuck on the stem to make it taller. You cannot pry open the bud to get it blossom sooner. And you cannot neglect the flower and expect it to grow or flourish spontaneously. What you can and must do for the rising generation is provide rich, nourishing soil with access to flowing heavenly water. Remove weeds and anything that would block heavenly sunlight. Patiently allow the rising generation to make inspired choices and let God work His miracle. In Heavenly Father's plan, families' relationships are meant to be eternal. This is why, as a parent, you never give up. With Jesus Christ, there can always be a new beginning. He always gives hope. Jesus Christ is the strength of families. Jesus Christ is the strength of youth. And Jesus Christ is the strength of parents.